Hi there, thank you for joining me. I'm Jeff Price, Professor of Aviation Management, Metropolitan State University of Denver. I'm also the lead author of Practical Aviation Security, Predicting and Preventing Future Threats. I want to talk about a very important subject uh, that has just come to light, and, and I think it's uh, pertinent based on my location right now, which is coming to you from uh, right near the World Trade Center from the Freedom Tower, which you can see behind me and the site of the former World Trade Center uh, 1 and 2 that were destroyed on 9-11. So the TSA has announced that they're going to pilot a program to have passengers removing electronics, removing possible food, books uh, from their carry-on bags in order to be able to see what's in the, uh, uh, the contents of, of the luggage from passengers. Uh, they're doing this as a test program at several airports throughout the country. And here's some thoughts on this. Uh, my first thought is, why are we doing this? Is, is the technology not able to detect what's in the bag? If that's the case, let's not change the procedure. Let's change the equipment. Let's get ahead of the curve and put equipment in those screening checkpoints that can detect the evolving threats, that can detect what, uh, what the bad guys have today. TSA has explosive detection or explosive laboratories where they can build the same types of bombs our bad guys do and they should be getting ahead of this curve. We shouldn't continue to adjust aviation and to, to cram it into security. We should create a security system that fits aviation. The apparent challenge here is that uh, uh, we can't detect what we're supposed to be able to detect unless we start unpacking at the checkpoint. What's the point of unpacking at the checkpoint when you have x-ray machines? Or better yet, when you have x-ray machines, what's the point of unpacking unless the x-ray machine can't do the job? So TSA says this is part of their, their different procedures, uh, evolving security threat, and, and so on and so forth. Um, it, they also say that it uh, uh, won't slow down the lines, that the line slowing down will be offset by a learning curve or some other elements. and. Uh, no, that's, that's completely wrong. This will slow down lines. The, the whole reason pre-check was created was so that we could speed the lines up. One of the ways we do that is you keep your laptop in the bag. You keep your liquids in the bag. When you start taking stuff out of the bag, when you're unpacking at the checkpoint, you're going to slow things down. Now, the next question is, well, okay, so what? Uh, you know, if that's going to help security, then, hey, I'm all for it. Well, the problem with this is once we start slowing those lines down again, not only do we get lines that can last two and three hours uh, at a checkpoint, you're creating another terrorist target again. So just recently we've had the Ariana Grande uh, uh, concert in uh, Manchester where the, the horrific events out there with the suicide bomber. Uh, there's been other public area bombings. Uh, and even just last year, the Istanbul and the Brussels airports where there's been bombings in public areas. When you create a crowd, you create a target. So not you're keeping the lines moving fast that's just not an efficiency thing that's just not something the airlines would like to have uh, that's something airport operators need to have to keep those passengers safe as they're transitioning through the airport further we we've now seen uh, a new budget review come out a uh, new proposed budget which is going to cut funding for law enforcement officers at airports and also cut the uh, what are known as the viper teams which are these, these teams of uh, law enforcement and uh, security personnel that can conduct random checks uh, at airports and at other venues. And with those being cut, we're even reducing the, the public protection more at airports at a time when, when TSA is talking about procedures that are going to slow down the lines ultimately. And really what we're down to here is, again, we're, we're trying to make aviation fit security. We shouldn't be doing that. To, to understand the benefit of security, you need to design a security program that accommodates aviation. And that's what we need to continue to focus on. And if that means getting better equipment and a checkpoint, uh, then that's what we need to do. So thanks for joining me for this uh, blog entry, and uh, we'll see how this turns out this summer.